It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. surrounded by primitives. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? Your Asari continues to question me beginning to wish our kind had never learned to talk. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. 
they used to eat flies? Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> he is correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Salarians for lunch. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean? Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? And what are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on Normandy left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. Ask me later. <sighs> Whatever you say. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. <clears throat> Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit! I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. Anger. Good. We can use that. What the hell are you? 50,000 years older than you. No shit. Shepard does find the weird ones. Are you all right? Your body language indicates contemplation. In my cycle, it is said the Reapers took this station in a matter of hours. To see its inhabitants fight back gives me pause. You are welcome to share your feelings. There is hope for those living now. There was none for my species. That is all. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. 
But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good. So you're a real living Prothean? As opposed to a fake dead one? Uh... Okay. Look, the signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. In my cycle, a race called the Jha used machines. The Jha Til are synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Jha Til as they have the Geth. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. Kila, what did you do? We sent their star into Supernova. That's not really an option here. Not yet. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. I don't understand. Shepard and Tally became physically intimate during their fight against the Collectors. Meeting between species, a pointless exercise. Thank you, Edie. Well, you certainly know how to fight. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps the commander. What? How, how do you know? <laughs> So, Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure. That seems reasonable. Okay. So, smoking? You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. <laughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. <laughs> I faced worse. Did we just get shot by a reaper? Okay, Shepard. I 
release the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Now fix, I've never done them. I remember this part. Just keep moving. Many are asking what I eat. They will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. Is it true you keep fish in your cabin, Commander? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No! I sent you the lineage of a leader, a warrior skilled and cunning. They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of war. You're exhausted by defeat, and now you worry you don't have the courage left to go on. By the goddess, are you... Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. I believe it. This is Lieutenant Curin. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia. Make it count. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. 50,000 years later. What's this? The goddess Athene's shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. You mean the Protheans? But that would imply a thing. Is not what you believe her to be. Just keep looking. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess Athene's sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Oravoras. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. How about this? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how Athame taught our ancestors mathematics. Before that, you could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, Athame's guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. And you don't see the resemblance? He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the seasons so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess Athame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying... It's staggering. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. A theme was us. I'm guessing these are the scientists. It's the goddess of theme again. You can still believe that, but it won't change the truth. I believe we are missing something. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. We aren't making any progress. I think we should examine those scientists. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, 
One of the Thames servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. What about this one? Another page from the Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin, a Thames guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. A pity you didn't live up to it. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? The goddess of Thame herself. It's a relic of the old faith. Then why does the Thame speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a Thame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. There is a universal energy. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? The Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned of it from the ruins of the Inusanum, the race that came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. It's gaining power. It seems each connection provides more power to the beacon. Asari are observant. Was that sarcasm? And easily confused. There, another one. It's still not complete. This confirms the Asari owe your superiority to my people. And you owe the Mass Effect relays to the Reapers. How did that turn out? So you do bite. Good. We'll need that. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on. We need answers. To, to what, what question? question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. We're all Protheans, so grim. What happened to the Crucible in your time? 
Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within, as the Splinter Group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a protein design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the catalyst is. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. That's not true! We earned our place in the galaxy! Stop denying reality, Asar. Your people took the knowledge of my people from the Beacon. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have freaked- Hey, settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat. Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen. But as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara Tassoni. That was unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara means a great deal to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry. But you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. This conversation is over. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Your ceremonial outfit could use some armor. Mine fits the dress code. I still think we should have gotten you an old school tuxedo. It will be of no use. If people know what I am, the clothes will not matter. I was mostly thinking of the entertainment value. Okay, they'll be looking at the Prothean and not me. That's good. That's the point. Okay. Why are you at 
extinction. I am a Protheon. What do you think of that? Uh-huh. You're the fourth one I've met this week. No, your costume is better than the rest. You have a good night now. You must allow me to read you. Give me your hand. I'm sorry, sir. We have a rule against touching the customers. You have a good night now. Human, you were not born to this. You are living a life of shame, defending an unworthy man. Sir, we are not fond of personal attacks here at the Silver Coast. Good night now. In my cycle, games of chance were punishable by death. Your customers would be executed. Your cycle? <laughs> Do you need a place to park or something? You have a good night now. Human, I must complain. The beverages here are toxic to my kind. You cannot serve them. Everything here is toxic to somebody. We ask that customers be vigilant with their beverage choices. You have a good night now. Human, I met your ancestors long ago. They were living in caves, throwing rocks at wildlife. We remind guests that some of our drinks do contain hallucinogens. Please drink responsibly. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? Mm. He has a bigger hole than your council's defense plan. That was an interesting experience, Commander. Do celebrations in this cycle always end with a murder? The James human believes you and I were on a date at the casino. Protheans did not date primitives. We conquered them, enslaved them. We sometimes ate them, but we did not date them. Unless they were a sorry. <laughs> the things Liara does not know. Here we go. Wow. Those mercs who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max. What do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill? Is that a catchphrase or something, Rex? I did not survive this storm. 
to die on a ladder. This is Shepard. We need... I find what primitives lack in aim may make up for in ammunition. The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. Can you imagine the history in this place? Must stretch back thousands of years. Also known as a nap. I'm glad I slept through it all. Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glenn? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Sorry, Glyph's not a combat model. Stupid machine. Tratika is so much better at this. Seal this in. Is there an override? I'm not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. How typical of primitives. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. Finally. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> said, I should go. Do I sound like that? Yes. Yes, you do. Crazy thought, but maybe we should be worrying about this impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. You should never announce your plan. Even when leaving a conversation, it shows weakness. Probably not a lot of air in here either. An hour, if we're lucky. Maybe it's, I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... Inevitable in retrospect. I'm okay. Really?
take off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? The ED machine is too cautious. You should ignore her next time. I'm strongly considering it. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. In my cycle, we've lent food from our teeth with our own biotic abilities. Man, your cycle sounds like crap. A little cramped in here. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Yeah, yeah. Get off my tail. Alright, get a patrol going. Find Shepard. The real one. Hey, what do you mean by slow him down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? He said slow him down because he thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh. Well. Shit. Commander, at times like this, my people had an ancient saying. Kill him. Catch him. I like it. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more soon. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape. Come back for revenge? Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, he wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. If you are undecided, it is not too late to throw her out the airlock. Enjoying your shore leave, Javid? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? <sighs> Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras! And... Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. There is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Road. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed... Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? 
But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Oh dear, no luck, you. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Protean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's over, half brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. Or purchase a time machine so I may escape all these primitives. Damn, this is good. Hang on, wait. So, Liara, is this the Tassoni Shepherd love nest? I hope we aren't interrupting anything you two might have been planning. Whatever the species, males never change, do they? Perhaps it's a good thing we Asari don't have any. Did you know female well, proteans could engage in foreplay using starving? only their eyes? Males could not resist. Well, now we know you're not immune to alcohol. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? I see you, Primitive. Which of us has four eyes? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to squeaking in 50,000 years later. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Or not. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith. 
and raise you Azoria, home of toxic spores and athletes' love. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka, and Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locked. Bring on the wildlife. In my cycle, this many species together was called a slave auction. I mean, a welcome to the Empire party. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Oh, he's like a brother. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comfortable. Yeah. Probably best I walk away now. What? As you wish. I told Liara that Protheans invented electricity. <laughs> I'm sorry we believe anything. I believe the Zaid human is really a Prothean in disguise. I like that one. He and I have discussed conquering the galaxy after the Reapers are gone. Though I do not understand why he's always damning his god. And one day, the Prothean Empire will rise again, and all the primitives will kneel before Chavik. Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy-feely? Hey, collector-looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Uh, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my cycle, we had food. Many of them. Varieties. You feeling okay? I am Prothean. I never feel okay. So this drink is changing that. Hmm. You know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry. Dury. Varian, and Quarry. Is there any we could spare? Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable. No. Sure, help yourself to the bar. But I'd steer clear of the creme de menthe if I were you. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. <laughs> that stuff will make you sicker than pure wrinkle. Whew, trust me. Shit, it is disgusting. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Uh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before 
job. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians. The Asari. There was one. The Ara. And those eyes. Voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Commander, was it this bad in your time? It was. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, for Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar, with Dr. Tassoni. She suggests journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. Mm. It turns out there is one thing primitives are good at. Not a word.